How long should check disc take? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. This is not an uncommon question, especially if you run check disc and it starts to seem to take a really long time. The question I got, check disc is taking a super long time, hours. How long should it take? Well, unfortunately, the answer is it depends. It depends on a couple of different things. First of all, we need to talk about what check disc is. Check disc fundamentally does either of two different functions. Check disk slash F confirms that the data that's stored on the hard disk is organized properly, that the file system is correct, that Windows can find the files, that there are no pieces of files missing, that the, you know, everything's where they are supposed to be. Check disk slash R does that, but also does what's called a surface scan. It actually tries to read all of the sectors on the hard disk to make sure that they are readable. If it finds one that has a problem, say there's some damage, physical damage to the sector, then check disk will try really, really hard to read what data was stored there, if at all possible, and then will mark the sector as being problematic so that it's no longer used. Let's have a quick look at check disk in action. So I'm going to go ahead and run the Windows command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and run it as administrator, just in case. So now normally if I were to run check disk slash slash F on C, it would say, you know, your current drive is in use. You'd have to do it on reboot. We're not going to do that. Everything that I'm talking about applies, but I don't want to have to reboot the machine. As it turns out, um, I have another drive on this system. So check disk slash F is only about checking the data that is stored on the drive. Boom, it's done. I don't have a lot of data on this drive. So that's lesson number one. The amount of time check disk is going to take will depend on the amount of data that it's going to have to process. Now that'll vary, of course, based on the size of your drive, but more importantly, how much data is on that drive. I don't have a lot here. I've only got like 10 megabytes of data on this drive. And it doesn't matter how big the drive is. If the drive were a two terabyte drive, check disk is only going to deal with the information that's actually there. Until we say check disk slash R. Slash R is going to take longer. And that's because it's going through the entire surface of this particular disk. Now, this disk, that it happens to be 100 gigabytes is irrelevant. Um, it's an SSD, it's a virtual machine, there's a whole bunch of things conspiring. But the fact is, this specific operation, check disk slash R, will vary in time depending on the capacity of the drive. Not so much how much data is there, although the check disk slash F that it did first is going to take however long it takes, but the check disk slash R, the surface scan, is going to take as long as it takes to read the entire surface of the drive. So if you've got a two terabyte drive, it's gonna read two terabytes. Here's where things get iffy. Remember that I said check disk slash R, if it encounters a bad sector or problematic sector, it's going to try really, really hard to read the data that was there. Really, really hard can mean it could take a really, really long time. And when you think about it, you kind of sort of want it to. If there's a bad sector and if it's having trouble reading data from that sector, you want it to try to recover the data if at all possible. Otherwise, you're dealing with data loss. So check disk slash R assumes that it really does need to do everything it possibly can before giving up. And yes, that can mean check disk slash R can take hours, days, or even longer. So the question of course is, well, should I let it run? It depends. It depends on honestly how much time you have. Um, if you're not needing that drive or that machine for a few days, a week, whatever, I'd let it run. I have let it run in the past. 
um, it just chugs away, does what it does, and hopefully it will be successful at recovering whatever it is it's trying to recover. The other factor, how important is whatever's on that drive? If it's super important and you don't have it backed up somewhere else, well, then maybe that's an additional incentive to let it try, let it do as much as it possibly can. On the other hand, if the data has been backed up, well, then maybe it doesn't matter as much. Maybe interrupting check disk with a control C, that's the way to stop it, would be the appropriate thing to do. The next question, of course, is if it's taking forever, should you just replace the drive? Well, again, that depends. One, I'm going to assume that the data is backed up, that it would be okay for everything on this drive to go away, because that's going to be part of our diagnostic tool. Interrupt check disk using control C, then perform a full format of the hard disk, not a quick format, a full format. Full format is going to not only read, but potentially write to every sector on the hard drive. It too may encounter errors. If it does, then yeah, drives are cheapish. I would probably replace the drive. If a format can't successfully format the entire drive, it's probably time to replace the drive. On the other hand, if the format succeeds, well, you know, that's probably a good sign. I would then run check disk slash R again. And I say that it's kind of a belt and suspenders thing because theoretically, if format can read and write the entire disk, check disk slash R should as well. I like the additional layer of security or, or of safety that says, yeah, you know what? Not only did it work, but it also worked. By doing that, you've got this additional level of confidence that, yeah, the drive's fine. It's going to work for a while longer, uh, could work forever. Doesn't really matter. It's working now. <laughs> and then, of course, and you know where this is headed. I would make absolutely certain to back that drive up regularly. Because any drive, be it failing a check disk, be it failing a format, be it working properly, can fail at any time without warning and in such a way that you could lose everything on the drive. So if this is a situation where you're desperately trying to recover data off that drive because you don't have it anywhere else, learn from the lesson. I hope you get it. I hope check disk slash R does the thing. But regardless, the fact that you are in that position means you weren't backing up. Start backing up. And then it won't matter how long check disk takes. Hope that helps. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 2285. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.